make the right decision at the right time, you can have a better life, but there's still risk. Right? So why do people come from Europe? They came for property rights and civil rights. Right? They either couldn't exercise their religion or there was no hope for them. All the property was owned by someone else. And you know, property rights matter. If I a lot of people don't realize this, they think that they, they think the property rights are a nice to have. Property rights are a nice to have the same way that that fat on your frame or an insulin are nice to have. If I strip away your insulin, you're a type one diabetic. You can't form fat. If you can't form fat, you can eat all day long and you're going to starve to death. It's not a nice to have to store to store energy over time. Fat is an organic energy battery and property is a social energy battery. So being able to store property means I can go three months without a job and not starve and live and live a life. There is no hope for a, a civil life without property. So, you know, people went from Europe to the U.S. for property. When they got to the East Coast, they went West. It's in the American ethos. Was there a bumpy ride taking a wagon train over the Rocky Mountains? You ever fly over the Rocky Mountains and look down before they had the railroad and before they had the highways? And then you ask, how did people actually cover the turf? It's like, yes, it was a bumpy ride. There was volatility along the way. You know, I think the risk and the discomfort today of owning Bitcoin is a heck of a lot less than the risk and the discomfort of getting on a ship or getting on a horse or, you know, getting on a wagon or walking, right, or settling and doing what you need to in order to secure your civil rights and your property rights and your freedom. But um, there is an analogy. Um, the only way you make the volatility go away is you make the opportunity go away. Mm. The, the reason you went west was because people weren't living there and you wanted thousands of acres to yourself to live a better life, right? And when you got there, you found that there was no one to come before you to, you know, declare the thing, you know, and build a house for you and give you running water and hand the keys to you and do your bidding because, you know, you were going to a new place. That was where the opportunity was. So I, I think it's very... It's very uh, quintessential to the American spirit or the, or the entrepreneurial spirit or, or, or just the human spirit. You know, what about immigrants, a nation made of immigrants? People went from a country where they had nothing to a country where they could have something. That's the story that you see over and over again. Is there volatility? Is there a risk? Yeah, always, right? Um, is there opportunity? Yeah. When do you leave? Look, I mean, the rich first sons of the nobles in Europe didn't come. <laughs> it was the poor, disenfranchised, the people that, uh, that didn't have a choice that came. Right? That the Protestants left Catholic countries, the Catholics left Protestant countries, the poor left every country. Those who were you know, hoping for a better life came. And, you know, if you're if you're sitting wealthy with lots and lots of stuff and a comfortable lifestyle and a comfortable portfolio, you might not see the same impetus, right? You wouldn't have the same inspiration to do something. It's interesting. So the humanitarian side of